Tombstone, Arizona Territory, the night of July 16, 1885. Now, now I'm going to show you how I used to keep order in Deadwood. You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you? No. But I'm still going to stop you. Sorry, Sheriff. But you're meeting a man that knows every fighting trick in the book. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Stone Territory. Trouble visited Tombstone the morning of July 10, 1885, when the Black Marshal of Deadwood rode into town. His arrival is going to make the front page. It sure will. Who's the rival? What's more important is what's he doing here and who's he after? Who do you suppose he is after, Clay? Well, it looks like he's after you. He's headed this way. Gosh, Mr. Clyburn, who is he? The Black Marshal of Deadwood. Arrives in Tombstone. Daggett. Reputedly one of the toughest and most brutal marshals in the Western Territory. That might be liable, mightn't it? Not if it's the truth. A man ought to be careful what he prints. A man ought to be careful what he does. You've made my paper before, Daggett. The Postel brothers. They was robbing a bank. Well, they must have been mighty hard to capture. You shot all three of them. Who are you hunting? No badge, no hunting, and no news. There's been no news ever since you left Deadwood almost a year ago. I've been moving around. Looking for something. All right. I'm going to live here, settle down. That is, if you got no objections. I got no objections if you settle down. You printing your paper about me coming here. You're just asking for trouble. Sure, I handled a lot of wild ones in my time. I treat them rough. I hate them all. But if you advertise about me being here, some of the survivors are liable to come here to try and get me. In which case, I'd just mess up your whole town, sweeping up the streets with You don't much sound like a man about to settle down. Just because I'm going to settle down don't mean I'm a setting duck. What does it mean, Daggett? Sheriff, you're looking at a rancher. I just bought me a little spread. Cattle? Cattle comes later. Well, what about right now? Chickens. You mean a black marshal at Deadwood is here to raise eggs? Yeah. And that means there ain't no news. I'm sorry, Daggett, but that is news. That is a story. Don't print it. You believe his story? Of course not. Do you? I don't know. You might be ready to settle down. And then again, you might not. Was that really the Black Marshal? Floor all swept, Ben? No, sir. Well, is it true that he, he lost count and quit notching his gun? You're still not very interested in becoming a journalist, are you? 
Well, none of it means sweeping the floor all the time, Mr. Clyburn. Sweeping's for ladies. Something else is bothering you, Ben. What is it? Vacation's over soon. I have to go back to school. Well, don't you like school? Yeah, I like it all right. After school, I sweep up for the teacher, too. I guess I'll have to be a sweeper. July 14, 1885. When a bundle of the epitaphs was tossed off at Silver City, one reader showed an unusual interest in the article about the Black Marshal. The afternoon of July 14. You shouldn't come up quiet like that on a man's blind side. Well, this will help the fire. Grass and leaves are damp. Just a minute. Something on the front page you might want to look at. So he's in Tombstone. Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? I can still see to shoot the man that left me this way. Yeah, I had all the stuff sent up in this place on Cottonwood Creek. Okay. Clay Hollister learned that Daggett had purchased an unusual amount of ammunition for a man who claimed he was becoming a rancher. He rode out to investigate Daggett's true intentions. Hold your arm looser, not so tight. Uh, it wasn't your fault you missed that shot. This gun shoots high. I gotta fix the sights. You better go on back to town. Mr. Clyburn's looking for you. There ain't no law in teaching a kid how to handle a gun, is there? There might be, unless you got a good reason. Well, I got a reason. The hawks is bothering my chickens. I'm gonna pay that boy a bounty. Five cents for every hawk and two cents for every rat. First, I gotta teach him how to shoot a gun. You don't believe that, do you? You're a rough man, Daggett. Kinda hard to believe that the, the black marshal has turned into a rancher. Ah, shoot! Shoot! Get out! Well, maybe you are a rancher, but it doesn't seem like you like it. Of course I don't like it. It's too quiet out here. Quiet? Sure. For 30 years, I had a whole flock of people to protect. I did my job. And now you're protecting a flock of chicken. No, I guess in a way I'm... I'm still chasing rats. Only now it's the four-legged kind. Remember that. The two-legged kind are my job. <laughs> July 15, two riders closed the miles to Tombstone. July 16, 1885. Four, five, six. Six hawks. Thanks, Mr. Daggett. I don't think I'll be out tomorrow. I don't think there's another hawk in the territory. Oh, I don't know. I seen one of them gliding around this morning. Flapping its wings? No, just kind of gliding along like it was going to set down. Well, that must be a buzzard. That ain't no buzzard. There ain't nothing dead out there. Well, except six hawks. Look, where there's chickens, there's hawks, live hawks. And I expect you to take care of them for me. <laughs> I think maybe you better come on out tomorrow, huh? Thanks. <laughs> Clay, look at this. I ordered from Daggett for an ad to be run weekly to further notice. What's it about? Eggs for sale. Just gives the location of the ranch, no name. No, there's something funny here. Hmm? 
Can't hardly read his writing. I've got an order from him on my desk signed while he was still marshal. It wasn't copper plate, but at least it was legible. You think maybe he's not Daggett? Oh, no, no, he's Daggett, all right. Maybe he's just not the same Daggett he once was. they get you? In the wrist. It didn't heal? Broke all the cords. That's why you have Jackie to shoot the hawks. Well, I'm too old to learn with my left hand. Why do you keep carrying the gun? Well, they find out I'm crippled, I'm dead. Yeah, I guess you're right. You made a lot of enemies. I was born with enemies. Never done nothing about it. Never could and won't now. Why didn't you settle down in some eastern city? Someplace you'd be safe. Oh. That's kind of hard to answer. Well, go ahead and try. Well, you you take a sea captain. He's going to retire. Where do you think he'd settle down? In Dodge City or maybe in Nantucket? Just can't keep away from the action, huh? I figured if I couldn't be part of it, at least I could see it unfold. Huh. So here I am in Tombstone. Well, you can't see much from Boot Hill. I figured this was the best place for protection. People tell me Sheriff Hollister does a pretty good job. With you and Johnny, will have to do a better one. Well, I better get going. Oh, Sheriff, why don't you drop out to my shack some night for some grub? I'll tell you how I used to handle the hard cases in Deadwood. Maybe give you some pointers, and we can talk about old times. That is, if you don't mind talking about old times. I don't get much time to talk. All right, Sheriff. Protect the citizens and count me in. Tombstone's got a new citizen. Uh. Wonder how long we can keep him. July 16, 1885. We're looking for a man named Daggett. Mr. Daggett, the old marshal? Well, where is he? I don't know. Comes in here every Friday night for one drink. Just one. Every Friday evening. Alone? Yeah, always alone. He don't seem to have any friends. He's been pretty busy making enemies. Harris, you got anything on Tom Grady and the Kenley kid? Grady and Kenley? Yeah, they just rode in. I got a hunch they're not sightseeing. Look at our dead one. Deadwood? You think they might be down from there? I think they spent some time there. Well, your hunch is right. Grady and Kenley, arrested two years ago in Deadwood. I guess we know why they're in town. Well, are you getting yourself all dooted up? You headed for town? What do you want? A couple of riders drifted in. A man by the name of Grady and the other one called the Kenley Kid. Friends of yours. I ain't got no friends, remember? Yeah, let's call them customers then. What, I'm wearing a black patch on one eye? I found them hanging around Deadwood just about the time a gold shipment was coming into the bank. And you jumped to conclusions. I jumped and I was right. Kenley tried to resist and I had to manhandle him. The black patch. So now he's trying again. Do you know any good reason I can lock him up? Sure. <laughs> to protect him. They're not going to need any protection tonight. I'm in the habit of going to town every Friday night for one drink. Now you've had your Friday drink, stay here. 
and tend the chickens? Mm -hmm. You think the two outlaws are gonna make me hide? Nope. But I sure hope I can. Well, you ain't gonna dictate to me. How about telling me what's inside you, Daggett? Oh, a whole lot of hate, I guess. Been in here for 30 years. You see, Sheriff, I... I never was much of a lady's man. You can tell that by this ugly face of mine. But once I... I met the prettiest girl in the whole territory. And she didn't want no ladies' man. She wanted a big, ugly, uneducated guy like me. An outlaw killed her the day before we was to get married. That's hate. Well, sure, go ahead and hate him all you want. But even if that wrist had healed, you still couldn't do anything about it. This is my territory, remember? If you're gonna live here, you better live peaceably. It's time for you to relax, and don't go out tonight. I see you got one friend. I'll see you around. But not tonight. you'd already had your Friday drink. Now, you listen. I ain't interested in no drink, and I wasn't interested in staying home. I'm too old a dog to learn new tricks, like hiding from a couple of punk gunslingers. I handled them for 30 years, and I ain't about to hide from them now. Now, you get out of my way. It's the time you stop pushing people around. All right, mister, it's Friday night. When does he show? Oh, about now. but it's my job to keep order in Tombstone. Don't you tell me about order. I got my own methods for that. Well, I got my methods, too, and you're now under protective arrest. I'm gonna lock you up for the night. All right. Inside. Now. Now I'm going to show you how I used to keep order in Deadwood. You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you? No. But I'm still going to stop you. Sorry, Sheriff. But you're meeting a man that knows every fighting trick in the book. Now I know how it feels. <laughs> yeah. It's a rough business we're in. I know how it feels, too. <laughs> now you stay here. I'm gonna go round up your playmates, get them out of town. Well, I guess you mean it.
I see by your paper there's a man named Daggett settled here in Tombstone. Well? We want to buy a dozen eggs. Maybe you can tell us where Mr. Daggett's place is. Well, uh, excuse me just a minute, gentlemen. Ben, uh, I think the place needs sweeping out. Good and clean. Do you know where the broom is? I'll find it, Mr. Clyburn. Now, I believe you said Daggett. Daggett. You want us to spell it for you? No. Two T's. D-A-G-E-double-T. Where's Daggett? Where is he? Sheriff Hollister. Oh, Mr. Daggett, we've got to find the sheriff quick. Mr. Clyburn's in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, some men were asking for you, and Mr. Clyburn wouldn't tell them where you lived. Well, Mr. Daggett, you used to be a marshal. See what you can do, and, I, and I'll find the sheriff. You stay here, boy. Where'd they go? I don't know, Sheriff. They just went out. When Daggett didn't show, they tried to pump me. But it looked like trouble. Once more, speak up, Editor. All right, that'll be... Hey, there's two of them. Here are. Wow. Mr. Sheriff, where's Daggett? You come looking for me. Well, here I am. Now you've got a tiger by the tail, and you can't let go. You might have pulled a bluff, Daggett, except for one thing. I uh, know about that wrist of yours. Now, I aim to shoot you in little pieces, one at a time. You might say, an eye for an eye. Yeah. Oh, mister, have I been waiting? I'm going to wrap that gun around your skull. You might shoot, but I'll keep it coming. When I get through with you, you won't have a tooth left in your head. You know me by now. Go ahead and shoot, Kenley. What's the matter? Your hand's shaking. I'll tell you what's the matter. You're remembering the Black Marshal of Deadwood. Why, well, when I get through with you, they'll be scraping you off of these walls. Ready? I think he's out. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> hey, you know, Sheriff, with a little excitement like this every Friday, I wouldn't mind staying out on the ranch. <laughs> Come on, Marshal, let's lock him up. Yeah, sure. The Sheriff of Tombstone and the Black Marshal of Deadwood had proved to be an efficient team of lawmen. I sent for the doc. Yeah. Keep it. No more bluffing? <laughs> no more bluffing, no more interfering. Guess I've really retired. You know, Sheriff, Tombstone's your territory. Are you sure you wouldn't like to be one of my deputies? Well, who'd mind the chicken? Well, I'll see you tomorrow, huh, boy? Sure. Well, I thought you were going to sweep out for me tomorrow. Oh, I'll find time to clean up, too, Mr. Clyburn. And what about school? Well, that'll be a little tough to fit in. Oh, but you'll do it, boy. You'll do it. Yes, sir. Whistle me up a memory, whistle me back where I want to be, whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. Hey, 
if your past has run afoul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in Tombstone Territory. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I wanna be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. Thank you. 